The 702T is part of the seven series of uh, recorders from sound devices. The 702 is a two channel recorder and it records to either a compact flash or to a hard drive via Firewire 400. The T is for time code. So this machine does generate time code. You can send time code out of it to jam a camcorder, for example, or you can get uh, time code in on it as well and jam it from an external source. So you got three different ways of working with this. Again, very intuitive front on this machine, uh, really nicely laid out, so it's very easy to operate it. Uh, and again, all the connectors are on the side of the unit out of the way, and when it's tucked into a bag, you're not fumbling to change any parameters. As far as powering on this machine goes, you can use a 7.2 volt uh, camcorder battery, but the more likely scenario is again the 4-pin Hiroshi, uh, which allows you to do DC input. So again, you could have that scenario where you have one uh, battery powering everything in your kit, and if you had two rechargeable batteries, you're good to go. I mean, these things will last for almost two days on a rechargeable battery. The menu inside of here is pretty extensive, uh, but the things that you're going to work with the most are just at the front, and the things that you probably won't go into hardly ever once you set the machine up on its first uh, setup are in the back. Uh, again, it's very intuitive. You have a menu button, and on the side you have a little knob that you can turn to change uh, to change your parameter. The menu structure is very easy to understand. You have your choices. You have a check or you have an X. Uh, you check off the one you want, goes back, sets itself up, and you're good to go. And because of that structure, it's very difficult to go in and accidentally change something without realizing that you did it. Uh, on the side input, we have two XLR3s. Again, we can change these between mic and AES or our line input. TA3 is for line in and line out. And we have the 3.5 connector for your headphones with a headphone monitor here as well. Other side, as mentioned, we had the ambient 5-pin limo, standard time code connector. So it has time code in and time code out communication on that connector. Uh, BNCs for your AES in and out, so we can do AES and we can also do something called SPDIF, which is actually a slightly lower grade of AES. AES is a digital format for sending audio between machines. The other format is for sort of lower grade semi-pro equipment signals being sent out. Uh, Firewire 400 for our hard drive recording. And we have word clock in and out. So uh, one of the nice things about the 7 Series is that we can link multiple machines together. Just as on the 302, we could link that to uh, another sound device mixer and have more channels to work with. So all these units, when you get them, are expandable and can be made bigger for a project that requires it. In addition, there's also this uh, RJ connector. It's called C-Link, and what C-Link does is it gangs multiple recorders together. So we're moving word clock, uh, time code, and machine control all together. This basically one connector links everything together and synchronizes them so we can use multiple track recording. So whether you use it, uh, the 302 by itself, or in combination with a 7 series recorder or just the 7 series recorder by itself, the sound devices stuff offers fantastic uh, recording capabilities, fantastic sound, compact design, and really intuitive design. Stop by and check them out.